everybody, welcome back to Family 5. It is so great to be with you again. I hope you all had a fantastic Easter and you're still filling up on chocolate. This week we're starting a new series called Encounter and we will be looking at Jesus' life and who he encountered on his journey. And our first encounter is Jesus and his friend Lazarus. And here is Trevor to tell us that story. The story of Jesus and Lazarus. A messenger came to tell Jesus that a friend of his, Lazarus, was very ill. Jesus had stayed at the house where Lazarus and his sisters, Mary and Martha, had lived. But instead of rushing to help his friend, Jesus said, This sickness will not end in death, but will bring glory to God and his Son. Jesus stayed where he was for another two days, and then said to his disciples, Let's go back to Judea. So they headed off for Bethany in Judea. It was where Lazarus lived with Mary and Martha. Jesus explained, Our friend Lazarus has fallen asleep, but I am going to wake him up. His disciples replied, Lord, if Lazarus sleeps, he will get better. They thought Jesus was talking about a natural sleep. So Jesus told them plainly, Lazarus is dead. I am glad I was not there when he died, but all this is to help you believe. Let's go to Lazarus. So they continued on their journey to Bethany. Lazarus had now been in his tomb for four days. When Martha heard that Jesus was coming, she went out to meet him. But Mary stayed at home. Lord, Martha said, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. But I know that even now, God will give you whatever you ask. Your brother will rise again, Jesus said. I know he will rise again at the last day, sighed Martha. Jesus told her, I am the one who raises the dead and gives them life again. Anyone who believes in me, even though he dies like anyone else, shall live again. Do you believe this, Martha? Yes, replied Martha. I believe you are the Son of God. Martha rushed back to Mary. Jesus is here and is asking for you. Mary got up at once and rushed to find Jesus. She fell at his feet, weeping, and said, Lord, if you had been here sooner, my brother would not have died. Jesus was deeply moved by her grief. Where have you put the body of Lazarus? he asked. Come and see the tomb, Lord, they replied. Jesus wept. Those watching muttered, see how he loved Lazarus. But some of them said, Jesus opened the eyes of the blind man. Why didn't he keep this man from dying? Jesus was deeply moved. The tomb was a cave with a large stone across the entrance. Take away the stone, he said. Martha was shocked. My brother has been dead for four days, she protested. There will be a bad smell. Jesus replied, didn't I tell you that if you believe, you will see the glory of God? So they rolled away the stone. Then Jesus looked up and said, Father, I thank you that you have heard me. I know you always hear me, but I'm saying this so that people standing here may believe that you sent me. Then Jesus commanded in a loud voice, Lazarus, come out. Lazarus came out, his hands and feet wrapped with strips of linen and a cloth around his face. Take off the grave clothes and set him free, said Jesus. Everyone was amazed. Many of the Jews who had come to comfort Mary and Martha saw what Jesus did and believed in him. Thanks Trevor. This story reminds me of a butterfly. When a butterfly comes out of its cocoon, it has new life and it is beautiful and free. When Lazarus came out of the cave and took off his grave clothes, he had a new life. And because we follow Jesus, and because Jesus does the impossible, he has defeated death, we can have a new life in him. 
which is free and beautiful and forever. Let's pray. Lord, thank you for Jesus. Thank you that he does impossible things. Thank you that because of him, we have new life. Amen. So, here's your challenge for this week. Well, it's more of a game. And all you need is toilet paper. Get your toilet paper, set a time limit, and then wrap each other up as quickly as you can. Once the time has stopped, pause, take some pictures for us all to see on the Facebook page, and then shout, Lazarus, come out, and quickly take off those grave clothes. The person who does it the quickest or has wrapped up the most parts of the body wins. I hope you all have a really great week and we'll see you again next week.